That started out as a nice spring day back there in Waco, Texas. May 15th, 1916. Jesse Washington was a friend of mine. He was 17, I was 18. We kind of looked at Jesse and called him slow. Today, you'd call him mentally retarded. They claimed Jesse raped and murdered a white woman by the name of Lucy Fryer. They put Jesse on trial, and he was convicted by an all-white jury after they deliberated for only four minutes. My brothers in Christ, Nobel Prize recipient, co-creator of The Transistor, and a dear, dear friend of mine, Dr. William Shockley, whose groundbreaking scientific work ushered in the computer age, has proven through his research with eugenics that each of us here has flowing through our veins the genes of a superior race. It's a fact. It's a fact. It can't be disputed. Today, we celebrate that truth. Masks off, hoods on. I was working across the street at the Shoeshine Bahama. And after the verdict, the mob grabbed Jesse, put a chain around his neck, and dragged him out of the courthouse. I knew I had to hide that way. Be careful, brother. Well, all right. Where I was, the shoe parlor had a window up in the attic, and I could see the crowd. They marched as he threw the streets. They stabbed him and beat him. And finally, in a bloody heap, they held him down in the street and cut off his testicles. God, give us true white men. The invisible empire demands strong minds, gray hearts, True faith, clean and ready hands. Men who have honor. Men who will not lie. Men who can stand before a demagogue and damn his treacherous flatteries without blinking. God, give us real men, courageous men who flinch not at duty, men of dependable character, men of sterling worth, then wrongs will be redressed and right shall rule the earth. God give us true white men. Ron Stallworth, rise. Step forward. The police and the city officials were out there watching him. They cut off his fingers and threw coal oil all over his body. They lit a bonfire and raised him I would have over these flames, over and over and over again. Ron Stallworth, are you a white, non-Jewish American citizen? Yes. Yes. What? Yes, I am a white, non-Jewish American citizen. Are you in favor of a white man's government in this country? Yes. Ron Stallworth, are you willing to dedicate your life to the protection, the preservation, and the advancement of the white race in mind, in body, and in spirit? Yes. Be seated. The mayor had a photographer by the name of Gildersleeve. He came and took pictures of the whole thing. Those pictures were later sold as postcards. Remove 
move your head? They put Jesse's charred body into a bag. You move your head? Dragged him through town. You move your head? They sold the remains. Remove your hood. A souvenir. Remove your hood. A lot of good white folks who stood there like it was a 4th of July parade. They even let the children out of school on lunch hour. Remove your hood. And all I could do was to watch and to hope they wouldn't find me. He was a movie called Birth of a Nation. It had come out the year before, and it was so powerful that it gave the Ku Klux Klan a rebirth. Oh my God! call that kind of movie a blockbuster. Everybody saw it. That's disgusting. Even the president of the United States, Woodrow Wilson, showed it at the White House. And he said that it was history written with lightning. Them three niggas from the North have show crazy. <laughs> oh, look at that little pickaninny. <laughs> Watch, why they're gonna scare the pickaninnies. Black power. Yes. Black power. Black power. 